my channel. Today I am having tacos. And it's not Taco Tuesday. It's Taco the day I eat them. Because <laughs> I eat them any day of the week. I got my Mr. Daughter with me. She said she's going to get on camera after a while. So hopefully when we really get into talking, she'll get on camera. Anyway, let me pray. Let's get purified. Lord Jesus, make Jesus above me. Ooh, got this old big piece of lettuce sitting up in here. Gotta take the vitamins. Ooh. Hope I don't have my arm all in the food. Hope y'all can see it pretty good. Cause it like a little glare to me, but maybe not. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Saturday. And the wind is really high. I hope we don't get that weather. They said going to be coming to different states. Look. I'm going to try to eat. I'm going to try to eat. It don't make a mess. Because normally when I eat, food be on my shirt. Make a mess. But anyway, y'all see on other videos. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about Huntsville and all their drama from last season, last season, that season, which season. But Huntsville and their drama. Love and marriage, Huntsville. I don't know how many people, how many people, comment below. How many people that look at um, love, um, marriage and Huntsville? What do you think? What do you think? I know one thing. A lot of people looking at some of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. When you look on social media, you see a whole lot of people saying about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Carlos, I'm coming after you in this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monte, I'm coming after you in this video on Wanda. We're gonna wait and see if we see you when it when it when it when it when it come back on, on April the eighth. I think it premieres on April the eighth, if I'm not mistaken. You know how to do we might not see the, um, you know, the videos really start, the, the show start taking off. Sometimes they just show, you know how they show their stuff sometimes, and then they get into it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, some people saying, Wanda's not going to be on there. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. Because she brings the drama. Yes. And it's just been plenty of drama. But they say Kiki um, um, is a um, part-time cast member now. Who? Kiki. Oh. Kiki the cousin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was she going to talk about? Yeah. Mmm. That be interesting. Oh, that's the... We don't know where she's going to be. Some people say she's boring. Some people say she need to find a storyline. I thought you were going to tell you, I think all of them need to find a storyline because if you got to capitalize off, everybody got to capitalize off of Melody. Let's jump and attack Melody stuff. People can get tired of that real fast. Y'all hear me? Producers. People can get tired of that. People don't like, people don't like it. It's, it's almost like when we were, when we look at well, I have looked at last season of um, Housewife of Atlanta. But, mm, when Needy used to be on there, it looked good for the cameras when you first start trying to do it. But you try to make season after season after season where everybody on the show gang up on one person. That ain't no good luck. Because you know, every, some, other people got thoughts too. Other people got lives and storyline too. So tell them about their storyline. I'm quite sure there's a whole lot of drama in it. And you could talk about saying everything about Nene. Everybody jump on Nene and all the hill stuff. You know, what you think about it? Speaking of that, did you see when Portia pulled her dream cast for Housewives of Atlanta? Oh. She picked. Nene, Phaedra, of course herself, mm -hmm. um, Kim, mm. and I'm talking about um, 
Kim Zosiak. Mm, okay. Um, she put Candy. Okay. She put Drew Fedora and she put Latoya Forever. That was her dream cast. Okay. What would be your dream cast? My dream has to be Nene, Portia, Phaedra, bring Apollo back. <laughs> housewife. Oh, the housewife, just the wife. Well, they are the wife sometimes. Portia, Nene. <laughs> Katie put me on the spot because you know how I feel. Um, I bring. I can't think of her name. She, her, Snow. What's her name? She was on that a long time oh, ago. Oh, you talking about from first season. Mm -hmm. There's no ex-wife. Mm -hmm. I think I bring her back to her no trap. Mm -hmm. I bring her back to her no trap. Pedro, Pedro. And between Kim and Sheree, we need a bone collector. So... I think I bring back. Oh, I'm sorry. She did say Kenya Moore too. Oh, okay, Kenya Moore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I keep Kenya on now. Mm hmm. But I think I would bring Kim back. But Kim had a whole lot of drama with her. Yes, she did. She tried to let them women didn't get to her. Them women got to her butt. Especially, especially when Nene was smash that wig off. You remember that time? Who did out? They were out eating or something. And it got on the side of the street. Was it Nene? And they got the arguing. And she was going to snatch that wig off her head. What would get me about all of them here? This would get me about them. I wonder how deep it really do go. Because they fuss. They fight. Almost. Oh! Which, let me ask you. They first the fight, and then you went on after the white, are they really friends, or was this a misunderstanding? But some of them just don't get back together again. And some of them, I think it's just for TV. Well, I know y'all wonder, why she didn't say candy? I'm a little on the fence about candy. I'm, I, I don't have no disrespect between candy, and I like candy. But candy not showing us enough of her, of her own life. You know what I'm saying? And... And the um um the her restaurant the gang um whatever it is the old lady gang everybody talking about um restaurant so they that ain't that ain't doing it for me. We wanna see which we know something going on in your person life when you're a Todd and them kids, blended the family. Come on now, show us some of that. You'd be surprised. I don't wanna see it. You don't wanna see it. Yes, you don't wanna see it. You think I'll be born? Candy is very accomplished woman. Okay. She is an entrepreneur. She has a mind for business. Okay. But she is not entertaining. Today. Oh. I guess actually she's more for business than entertainment. Okay. The only reason I would have her, and I would only do one season, and that's to see her reaction to Phaedra being on there. Right. That's the only purpose she would have. And if she don't react, there's no, even, no purpose for her to be on there. Mm-mm. Oh, Phaedra came back to the um, reality TV series that she was going on over as a marriage to medicine. Running them folks from over there. Sorry, you're joking. No, I ain't. <laughs> that was your act. Marriage to medicine. Now, you know what that is a Milo? Milo dollar. You gotta get a dollar. I got Milo for who she is, so you know, as a person. Well, I don't think, I think Milo trying too hard. What you think? Milo and kick the kids out and butt the kids back. I don't know. We talking about <laughs> reality, but this stuff is serious. But anyway, let's get back to Huntsville. Now, I'll be honest. When Wanda was first introduced to the cast, they bought her own. Wanda was was a, wasn't as ratchet as she ended up being. But one thing I can say, a little 
Yeah. Reality TV just take you up and make you laugh. It's okay sometimes. But let me tell y'all something. When it started involving kids, people, innocent children, talk about them, call them names. You know, that don't look good. And that's what one was crossed over. She started messing up with me. And then she started start with this stuff with, what's this stuff about bullying and, and, and threatening people? And then I looked up about a month ago, she's suing, <laughs> Wanda suing bloggers. She can't block at the court. She said, I'm getting tired of it. She said, she can't in the court. She got her, she got her lawyer on speed dial. Never going to court. I don't know why they're going to court, but I'm going to... I guess, what do you, what you, what you think they're going to court for? I don't know. She said she was going to court. But... Montana hit behavior. What do you think about Montana hit behavior? Off scene and on scene. Social media. Hmm. You got that right. And I know her kids was a blessing. Don't get me wrong. But that last one would have never been here. Because I would have left him. And she would have never been conceived. Yeah. I would have left him. Mm-hmm. And I know she don't regret her children. Mm -mm. I'm not saying she should regret her children. Mm-mm. But seeing how he is, I don't know why she thought he would change. Mm-mm. And she said she'll give him the benefit of the doubt, you know? But, do you think she was more wrapped up in but, um, the sake of the children or the sake of the marriage? You know, the marriage, but I think she really loved them. I think so too. I really do. I really think. I really think. Because if she was still thinking solely of the kids, she would have went back with me. Exactly. I said she really loved him. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think women in general, when they dealing with stuff like that, they probably in their head got something in their head to say, this is my limit. If he crosses this line, mm -hmm. there's no way I'm going back to him. And I think for her, it was him having a child. Mm -hmm. And I think in her head, she mm -hmm. probably already had established that if he ever crossed that line, I would never go back. Like Wendy Williams. Mm -hmm. Wendy Williams said she knew her husband was cheating the whole time. But she said, she had always said if he ever had a child, she was done. Mm -hmm. And when she, he got his girlfriend pregnant, mm -hmm. she was done. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in my opinion, that was, that's too far of a line to even have for a man, but that's oh, the line yeah. that she chose. Or, or I feel like she chose. As a lot of women do to that lad that they just won't deal with an outside child. And I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with that. If she knows that she don't have the capacity for a thug, because you know some women do it. Yeah, yeah, two, the outside three. Child in. Now, if I meet a man and he got a child before me, that's different. Mm -hmm. I have to, you know, I feel like as a woman, if you want the man, you're supposed to accept the child. You can't accept the child move on about your business. That's right. But if I'm already married to you and you have a child, I don't have to accept that child. Mm -mm. I don't have to accept that child. Mm -mm. Now, I'm not going to be mean to that child or nothing like that because if, especially if we have children together because they're siblings. Right. And I will be mature enough that, yeah, that child, if, if I'm having a birth, well, in the beginning, it probably won't be this free. But, you know, once you get over all of it, yeah. Yeah, you, you the shock. But I'm not staying with you and accepting your child and raising your outside child. I just, mm. I know me as a person don't have the capacity to do that. I know plenty of women do it. Yeah. I was just watching on Instagram. This one, this baseball player had, uh, it was already rumors going around that he had an outside baby. Mm -hmm. Each, the woman had posted a picture of them, and she was pregnant, and she was like, my baby daddy, and she, mm. and she posted a picture of them, too. And he's a whole married man with kids. Mm. And, uh, you know, you didn't hear much more about it um, until recently, when his wife posted a uh, message saying, bonus, bonus child, bonus love, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, girl, you a good one. Mm -hmm. Because I think some of these women, especially the ones in the limelight, 
Mm -hmm. I think they really don't accept it, but they're not gonna leave because they don't. They're not gonna let you win. They they feel like I ain't gonna let you win, and not just celebrity women. A lot of mm -hmm. women feel like that. Oh, I'm not gonna let you have that man, so I'm gonna accept his child. But I know I couldn't do it. All the money in the world can let me do it. So I would just bow out, like Melody did. Just bow out for yeah. and move on with your life. Yeah. You do whatever you need for your child, whatever you, and you know, and yeah, my kids gonna be around your child. That's their sibling. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna be immature enough to, now when we first separate, oh, uh, I'm not even gonna last. No, birthday parties, you had your birthday party, I had my birthday party. Mm -hmm. We ain't had no joint birthday parties. <laughs> we ain't had no joint vacations, especially, I said when it's fresh, because I feel like not only for you and your spouse or whoever, but for the kids, mm -hmm. you don't want to confuse kids because right. kids, if you get right. them any glimmer, like Melody and, mm -hmm. and uh, um, Martell, I told mom when we saw the video with Tank posted that they was on vacation, I said she should have never took them on vacation. And we yeah. went back and forth about it. Mm -hmm. Come on, was like, well, the therapist said, and all this. I said, yeah, no. that's what I'm thinking. I said, when you have children like that and they're having a hard time with your separation. You might think you're doing a good thing by having sure. Oh, we're still gonna do that, but yeah. especially when That's you're what dealing I was with somebody like Martell. Now, if you were dealing with a rational person, then yes, you could do something like that. When you have a a, a split that isn't as volatile as theirs, yes, you could do something like that. But when you know you're dealing with an unstable person like Martell, who's gonna take advantage of the situation and confuse, because he is mm -hmm. encouraging mm -hmm. this confusion for the kids. Exactly. Don't think for one second he ain't like, oh yeah, me and your mom might get together. Yes, mm -hmm. I firmly believe he was planting those ideas in their heads and making them, you know, feel like that because. The way they were acting and stuff, I was like, yeah, he had something to do with it. Because he was just delusional as they were talking about, oh, we might get back together. Mm -hmm. And he said that to her, you really don't think he's going to try to use the kids to pressure her to come back to him? Because he's a low-down person. He's going to mm -hmm. do it. Low-down, so, look. Yeah, he's low-down. Any, any man that low did, did everything he did to her, he low-down. Yeah. So, no, I won't put in the, if you will videotape, videotape your kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, and stuff like that. Try to use it against the mother and post yes. it on social media. You are a low-down person. Exactly. Because at that point, you don't even care about your kids. You just care about hurting her. So, yes, you're low-down. You, that shows you would use your kids. Mm -hmm. So, if you would use your kids for that, you would use your kids if you really want her to back. Be like, yeah, you need to encourage your mama and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So, no, I don't think it was healthy for them to do it. And then she admitted it that she should have never did it after the fact because she realized... Well, they bring them good. Mm -hmm. But like I said, when you first split, especially if you split and it's, it's not a good situation, mm -hmm. I think complete separation needs to be happening. That's true. You need to have complete. It ain't no joint birthday parties. It ain't no joint vacations. It's nothing joint. And tell that person, you, you two, like, get therapy, really. Because mm -hmm. you need therapy. Mm -hmm. Anytime you split like that and it's very bad, I really feel like you need therapy to mm -hmm. learn how to coexist. Mm -hmm. Not just co-parent. You mm -hmm. need to coexist. That's right. Because you can't co-parent until you can even coexist. If y'all can't be in the same room and have a regular conversation that don't turn into an argument, mm -hmm. how the world are you going to co-parent with somebody? I know that's right. So, I think they need therapy. Once they get their relationship straight, then you can introduce the kids to seeing y'all together again. But my dad said he didn't need that one around him. When he was in therapy on the show? I, that, that, was, that was um was so. selfish show. Well, I mean, if, uh, he, like, remember she if said he, he don't feel sense? like if he don't feel like he need therapy, I feel like she need therapy. She knows yeah. she needs therapy. She need have therapy to learn how to deal. She's with in therapy. Like the kids, him. her and the kids in therapy. Because I mean, she got some on her hands for oh yeah for the rest of her life. Because I mean, oh, she got four kids, but I mean, the, the youngest one is it ain't even in school yet. So she got some long years ahead of her. With him, mm -hmm. especially if he don't never grow up, because mm -hmm. that's the point. And his mother, and it is my thing. Mm -hmm. This is another subject, because like I, I saw this post one time on social media, and it was true. They said behind every like bad man is a trashy mama, and that's what? nothing but the truth. That's nothing but the truth, because most men, I'm not gonna say every situation, but majority of those situations. Most times you see men that act like that, they always got a mom in the background hyping them up. Yeah. That's, and that's could the be reason possible. why they're like that. It could be possible. They could be act like that. It could be, you because right. his mom, at the beginning, she seemed like she was like taking up a mouth.
Molly. Yeah. But then she switched. And she she had that good set. But I'm sitting there like, I feel like she got me and Camelody left. That's yes. what I feel like the switch was for her. Yes. But I'm like, how do you expect this woman to sit with your son while he doing all this in her? Because his mother is the one that told she had a baby on the way. Mm-hmm. She the one that told it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like she felt like she should have endured for the kids. I'm like, no. Your, your son is the problem. If you got an attitude with anybody, you need to have an attitude with your son for doing what he did. Mm-hmm. But he, she's enabling him, and she instead of having those tough conversations with him, she's making him feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. And he won't cuss at the kids. Who will cuss at them? Want some child support. That's all is. it is. I ain't got no house to put him in. I'm not gonna say because Melinda says she he, he ain't no bad father, but that's what her counseling need to come into effect too because he is a bad father. And the reason why I say he's a bad father because if you was a good father before you made the decision to cheat on your wife and ruin your family, you would have thought about your kids first. So that's what make you a bad father. I'm not saying if they are, they mm-hmm. got claims out there that he did stuff to tank and all this and all that's alleged. I don't know if it's true or not, mm-hmm. but I'm saying in general. Good parents, I, I'm not saying, oh, good, oh, you got to be a good parent to stay with somebody. No, mm-hmm. but you got to be a good parent when you handle things. If you didn't want Melody no more, you should have did it the correct way so you didn't scar your children. Exactly. So the way he handled things is showing that he's not a good parent. Mm-hmm. So in her head, for her to still be saying he a good father, that just show how she needs some work herself. But dude, look at her when she talk. You see the fear in her face. I mean, She yeah. said she's not fearful. But Montana yeah, done some dirt in that yeah, house. Is, I feel like she is fearful. And my, my, now, don't be told, but not, Montana does some stuff to her. I feel like she is fearful. Allegedly. And I, I feel like that's the reason why she handles stuff a lot of times the way she do. And, like, the way the way they portrayed it on that, the way he was, I knew he was valid anyway, the way he was talking to her on that TV show. Yeah. Because I'm rough. like, if you are number rough. one, they won't even fully... Separating it, I never forget this. They had this. I forgot what it was. It was the like the last episode. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, she was sitting there with him. And he mm-hmm. called her a hoe. And yeah. I was real, like you talking to oh, her oh. like this with all these cameras rolling after you just got off the phone with your baby mama and Lord, you still married. Mercy. Like, are you serious? I mean, it's like I said. I really feel like he's a narcissist. I mean, I'm not medically inclined to, to diagnose him, but I really feel like he's a narcissist because that's how narcissistic people act when they lose control. And I feel like he saw he was losing control of her. Mm-hmm. And that's why he, the way he stormed into her set when she was filming mm-hmm. and attacked and all this stuff. Yeah. That's how people act when they lose control. Mm. He never thought she would leave him. Mm-hmm. He never thought, he thought that he would do his dirt. Say, I'm sorry, I she might leave for a week or two, mm-hmm. maybe even a month, but she'll eventually be back. Exactly. I think it shocked the mess out of him when she really didn't come back. I think so, and too. And she really fouled and went through the divorce. I think, I it think it so, too. Him. Mm-hmm. He didn't know how to react. He didn't know what to do because he was not prepared for that. He even said it. Mm-hmm. He said he never thought she would actually leave him. Mm-hmm. And then to, if you really look at him, this is why I say he really need help. And she, re- I always say, I feel like she need a restraining order against him because... I really don't think he's all the way there up there. And I feel like he's emotionally damaged. I don't know if it's his childhood or not. But he when he talks about it, it's like he feel like it I, it come off to of me like he feel like she betrayed him. Like when he talked about her when she left him, it's almost like it was a betrayal. And yeah. I'm like I'm like, dang, he don't even he really feel like he didn't do enough, enough to warrant her to leave him. Because when he talk about it, he said, I was still a good husband. I still was there for y'all. I still did this. You were still happy in the bedroom. But I'm like, no. But, but in his head, I really, truly feel like he believed what he's saying in his head. And that's what makes it scary to me. That's what I always said. That, that Melody need a restraint order. Until he get himself together, he, she need a restraint she order. She definitely need a mediator. Because they don't need to come and vibe with each other with, with, with the show went off. Because because did you see my dude, I look at people's ass. I used to work on a psych unit for criminal insane. I look at the ass. The ass is the, what they said? It's the light to the soul. The window. the window to the soul or something like that. 
I look at people's ass, and their ass tells stories sometimes. And the way he looked at her when she stood up on up there, and she wanted him and out. And first of all, he how he did he just come bump her up in her house, you know? Because he could he feel like he controls her. No, he won't see if anybody was in there. Yeah, he thought she was gonna lay just let him come on in. He won't see if anybody in there. Then he had to tell her, you come to my mama's house. <laughs> he said, my house. You come to my mama's house, you feel like it. But he's a loose cannon. And we don't know what all gonna go on with that joker, but let's let's talk about what was said the day Saturday. I don't know how true it was so on social media that he was arrested, allegedly. He was arrested. But I look at a little laugh he heard but done before he went to the concert with Ariana, what her name is? The other name? Ariana. Yeah. They did a little laugh together. I think they should just then he even came forth with it. But they try to say he done something to her. But if he done something to her, why I was later, they said they're on a lab. But look at her face. Go pick the lab up, y'all. Look at her face. She don't let she what happen. She let she was just staged to do this. Like she was acting. But if he did, really did do that to her, how far the balance go? Right? How far do the balance go? I don't know. <laughs> but I won't be in a relationship like that. And then I think y'all I think it's all it, it skimmed back to Melanie and her new man that they claim she got. I don't know if she got a new man or not, but she actually walk a hole in somebody's hand. She's gonna be holding Jay hand and their food nuts. I was joking, Jay. <laughs> but she could be. She could be doing it for the get up get him off her back. I don't know. And she could really do have a new man. I don't know. But, um, she need one. They've been divorced for two years. Tell her to move on. Is she ready to move on? <laughs> but, you know, all of reality TV. But they got, the Huntsville got too serious with me. Hmm. Well, they asked me. Somebody get hurt behind them. I want them. Uh, she bought her cousin a one gun. She gonna beat some people down, and she said she won't. Uh, she... <laughs> Did you see the episode when Mother Mom said, "I don't do ghetto." Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I call her ghetto, but what's the thing that between ghetto and reality? Mm -hmm. Ain't it? Cause some people. They like they naturally act. They don't let like it act. It's natural life for them. Mm -hmm. This is a natural life for them, and that's how they act in real life. And you know, you know, act, you know, putting on for the camera stuff. But they're coming back on. They had a whole lot to take, so guess we'll see Moses. If mm -hmm. Moses really out there, we'll see Moses. <laughs> That's the man. <laughs> now, she said on the last show that if I'm not mistaken, she went to visit him. He got upset because she didn't cook for him or some stuff. She said, I think that's what she said. Now, who gonna who gonna be responsible for cooking for somebody you ain't really you had no real relationship, you know, like no you know like committed relationship with. Would you um feel like you gotta do wife to do for somebody you don't feel like you're fully committed to? Mm. Would you consider wife to do this and when to do wife to do this? When you a wife? Exactly. Oh, I hit the camera. I'm sorry, y'all. When you're a wife. That was wrong, y'all. Some some women. Well, if you gonna give him all he needs before he say I do, he ain't got no reason to say I do, right? And I mean, you, if you engage to be married, y'all about to be married. That's another story. That's different. Uh huh. But that's commitment. Yeah, I wouldn't just that's be commitment. no girlfriend doing all that. Exactly. If he look committed to you to get married, he'll put a ring on it, and you believe that he gonna marry you like he claimed he is. Sometimes he put a ring on, don't marry you still. I would do some duties, but ain't gonna be no wife to do. I am not washing your clothes. I might, you might 
come for breakfast or whatever. Be there for breakfast or whatever. I might fix you a little breakfast. I'm fixing me some breakfast. I ain't getting out of bed just to do something for you. Not not, not any kind of way. Because you got to be careful about how you do it. Because some people feel like... Some people feel like... Some, the way I see it, some people act like... It's it's a duty. And some people are like, oh, she's so sweet. Look what you're doing for her boo. And some people are like, yeah, that's what she should do for me anyway. Come on, man. Oh, either that's what he should do for me anyway. Come his woman. And he going to do it anyway for me. And they, they you know... That is how I see it. I see anything that's a plus outside of marriage, then you ought to be grateful for it. That's the way I feel about it. Because, honey, let me tell you, when you do say I do, and they clear out that you're responsible for doing all you do this, it gets old real fast. And you get tired of it. You say you're going to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take care of my man. I'm going to take care of my man. I'm going to treat him like a king. I'm going to make sure he got everything he need. Lay out the carpet. Roll down the red carpet. And then when it get old a few months. And you done got the I do. What happened to all this you say you're going to do? What happened to your king? That you claim you're going to take care of? That's my thing on it. People. I'm not going to say women's. I'm not going to say men's. I'm going to say people. Talk a good talk. Claim they're gonna do so much. Almost like running for the president of the United States. And everybody got a storyline to tell. And you're gonna do all this stuff for my this and my that and do this and do that. And then when it all boils down and you get what you want, then what happened to that talk? Cause talk is cheap. That's what they always said. Talk is cheap. So let's see because everybody won't get married, but marriage is a commitment. It ain't to be taken lightly. But I'm going to let y'all go. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later.